So to me, draft wise, I'll still be going for Sun Sparks. What about you, Wolf? On a quick note. Yeah. Because I know Sun Sparks a lot and I think that their lineup will work. It's not that the opposing lineup is weak. It's just that I know personally that Sun Sparks with this lineup can easily take this game. Let's see what will be learned here from the Geek Fam Malaysian squad as we get 2-0 from the votes of our panel. We're gonna be throwing it off to our Coconut Tandem, Buko combination of Butters and Yuko. Our shoutcasters once again, take it away. And what the hell was that, Shinbu? Say! Oh my goodness. What was that? Can you please not? Do not. <laughs> anyway, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this is game one for our best of three series. This is Sunsparks versus Geek Fam. So early game, we could see that here at the top of lane, Shorn is able to pressure that Thumbs to stay within the turret range. But here at the bot lane, though, as being very aggressive, he actually tried to go face against this x -Borg, but x -Borg was able to jump to safety. Okay, so right now we're having a bit of fun and Normalin, Normalin coming out here from Arts and Arts here, Normalin, he will go down to the normal attack from that x -Borg. and Rompe going in trying to get a kill, Kiloash will go down as well and we are just going to have fun because Rafflesia, Kiloash, KelvyJ, JP, Greed, they actually shake up their composition and their, uh, you know, lineup. You know what's funny? Um, they're actually chatting while in game, so this is just—it—it's not 100% friendly match because of course you're in it to win it. But you know that they're just gonna—they're just here they're up against good friends, and they're just gonna have a great time. Yep, I mean, show matches are really made to just, you know, have fun. Because, you know, sometimes we see these players, they really play at the top of their game, competitive most of the time. So right now, you just have to make the most out of everything. Kill VJ playing that link. It's not even on JP. Tempest of Blades will catch out two people. Greed just going for that stun and sword. And the others will just try to get away and look at that Tokyo Drift. I wonder if you know how they live in Tokyo and that. That will be a Ling pick off, and that is a double kill going to the side of Geek Fan PH. Very quick double kill for this Gushin indeed here. The bot lane, though, Kilowatt probably gonna be pressured, but this Rain is just gonna keep his safe distance. Jake here at the mid lane, just checking out if anyone's hiding along the bushes. And we, as we could see, the red team, one of them is actually trying to take out that little wonder. And I like how reactive the red team is right now. They're literally going all over the map to make sure that maybe they can go with the pickoffs. But looks like that Kufra is the one that actually got picked off. Shorn already in his ultimate, already applying pressure to that Thumbs. And Thumbs does get taken out. But I think the Ling was able to at least get someone red down mm -hmm. there that's why they were forced to back out soren of course stickers for days that is something you will always see in a mobile legends game Grid using his feathered airstrike but it's just enough to drive the members of team geek fam away yeah arts and the others dominus trying to go for greed and that is going to be another trial on that sword spike second one won't hit though soren on the other hand onto the back line it didn't even have to hit that that wheel just went in and it took him down dominus and the others going for that turtle and look at this geek uh, geek fam is just you know it's they're dominating the early game and they have the early game centric setup here gushon has 301 mystery shop on lock dominus here will have an early power spike yuko I don't know. What's your thoughts on this? How will uh, Sunsparks come back from this? They need to wait it out. And as much as possible, Killua should not die as much. I mean, he he's 1-1 one, one right now, but the fact that he's being pressured almost all the time in his lane shows that he's obviously a priority, but looks like ultimate coming over him at that right here is able to catch three people and connecting onto that friend air seg, but looks like that will be the perfect target for Ling Ling chasing out that Kufra. Nah, -uh, even though you are in that bouncing baby ball mode, you will not be able to get away. Shorn forced to use his first heal just so he'll be able to back away. That was a two too far none in favor of Sunsparks. Just keep on playing like and Sunsparks will win. However, of course, Geek Found they will not 
give Sunsparks an easy win. They are still gonna go at it. And might I just add, the Roger right now is 2-1. Uh, and on the chat, they're having a bit of fun. Rafflesia getting uh, the large and uh, the longer end of the stick there for that trade. And he will live. Soren here getting caught out. One stun might actually do it for the side of Sun Sparks, but they don't get it into the bottom lane. There is an answer here for the side of Kilo uh, for Kilo Ash, and he will go down. But right now, Sword and the others, they will just go for the Atlas Ultimate. JP trying to stun them down. Feathered Air Strike is there. KLVJ trying to go in, trying to take down this Roger. Roger gets caught out, and let's see. He will go down. Rumpe here is the next target probably, but they will just stop there and take down the turret. And they proceed straight to uh, Rumpe. Pay. Sorn and the others, they get stunned. Dominus, that slaughter, uh, that uh, sword spike won't connect, and that will be the end of the skirmish. Kelvij and the others, they're looking hot right now. They're getting what they want at least, and this is what you were saying earlier. Just wait it out, be patient, and wait for the right time to punish. Now we could see that the red team is the one that's being lay low. Earlier, they were literally the ones that's applying pressure, going aggressive, going all over the map. But now we could see that it's Sunspark. So I guess they just wanted to take it slow. And I was also able to see that Aggression already has his Calamity Reaper. So that's more uh, damage coming in for this Dominos. Let's see if he'll be able to catch out maybe Greed or KLVJ since these two are the two main damage users. But here at the mid lane though, Looks like there's gonna be three members and Knight Ultimate coming over from this Ling. That, of course, Rainus was very, very low on hell. But will he be able to make it out of there alive? Well, looks like Sun Sparks, they are looking hot right now. They just want to go in, but the red team forced to go back. We do not want to commit to this full on 5v5 fight. They know the risk that they don't want to take. But Kilo was just trying to tap some damage to that turtle. Now we're seeing Arts and the others, Rumpel. And if you would see the chat, they're actually talking about why the Thams Rafflesia got an Athena shield first. And Rafflesia just answered, so I can resist too itchy. Very itchy indeed. And right now, JP with that beautiful ultimate, sadly no follow-up. And that is going to be one dead Atlas and one dead Exborg. And let's see the fights here. KLVJ trying to go for the cleanup. Dominus and the others, their skills won't connect. And Rumpel will actually go for the knockup. Farsa will get caught out. And Tempest of Blades, let's see if KLVJ can make something happen. Dominus here can't really hit him with anything there. And good moves coming up from KLVJ. 4-4 in favor of the red side, but yes, good moves coming in from KLVJ indeed. I, I just have to highlight this again. They have a Roger, and the Roger is not something you would want to snowball in this kind of lineup. I mean, yes, you have Atlas, yes, you have Thoms, but if we're gonna look at Ling and Farsa, they're pretty much very, very soft if up against a Roger. Kilo was just clearing out the mid lane right here, KLVJ clearing out the bot lane. So here we have Thoms up against against this Roger and that Uranus. Okay, so there is a bit of a follow-up there. This is the perfect setup that you were talking about earlier. KLVJ tried to go for Dominus. Dominus not getting that sword spike, but Kiel, I think he really wants blood on his hands. Dominus here will get away, but KLVJ will get hit by a sword spike, and that will be his death. Okay, Yuko, now the question is, who is having the most fun here? in this show match. <laughs> say geek fam i mean look at them they're chatting they're in a good mood but at the same time they're actually getting the kills in we are 10 versus 15 right now and they're spamming stickers so for now i'm gonna have to say it's geek fam look at soren i mean look look at that guy he's, he's just rolling around like a wheel and whatever it is that he's doing he's just invading and doing whatever the hell he wants and that is a good sign coming out here for Geek Fam. They're they're not playing competitively, they're just having fun and they're trying to outplay each other. And that's the thing about show matches. It's a way for them to play individually and to, you know, just have fun all in all. Rumpel and the others, let's see how superior the team fight is here for the side of Sunsparks. Rumpel going down and Kilowash will go for that last insanity. Arts on the other hand onto the backlines. JP Dominus and the others, he will get caught out. Tempest 
Ace of Blades and look at that in incandescence coming up for Gushon but it won't really matter as KLBJ will take him down but the Roger is just way too much for them to take down. Yuko, how do you fight this how do you fight this uh snowball snowballed uh what do you call it? snowballed Roger? I forgot his name, sorry about that. <laughs> Second, you try to um, get this moment in Rogers is farming alone. You know, try to pick him off. Make sure he's dead before you actually try anything else. Before you try with a five four v five T fight, because the whenever there's a team fight, they have a box, a Kufra, and a Uranus. So obviously, the hyper carries or the cores, all of all, if not most, of their skills would be on cooldown. Moment mm -hmm. they use that on the tank, Roger is just gonna jump in and have the time of his life. Okay, Tempest of Blades will be thrown out. Let me cut you out there, Yuko, for this fight. KelVJ getting chased out, and this might be Sorn and Gushon really trying to go for him, but KelVJ being very fast. KelVJ just jumping in front of that Roger, and that will be the takedown on that link. And things aren't looking great here for the side of Sunsparks. Geek fam, they're really rolling with this snowball play that they did into the early game. That is true. Uh, also, Farsa said, JP at last tutorial, he will post this. Oh my gosh, Sunsparks! And we here see that Rampage jump in, jumping in right here, but uh, Greed already immediately used his ultimate rather, but this Roger was actually targeting the Lord. Are they gonna get it? I believe Sunsparks should contest this, but it looks like they are just too far away. Antikiras being picked up by Boxer right here. More attacking is coming in for them. And ultimate from Kufra being committed to Kilowash right here. And here it is, the do or die fight. What will happen? Kilo here in the back line. Storm receiving a lot of damage, but it looks like Sunsparks, they are going all in. Storm being taken out by that Farsa, but the tides have turned and any team called out like that is the red side and ultimate from the expert being used, but it is not enough to take out that Uranus. Let the bodies hit the floor. That was a one for one trade for both teams and Rumpay jumped in. That's a bit too sour, but I guess he will be able to make it out of their alive. And it's the JP Atlas tutorial. This will be posted on another social media channel. But right now, Kilowash and the others, they're just having fun. JP, he's having, not having the greatest Atlas game right now. But he's making it work. And it only takes one good Atlas ulti to turn the tides here for the side of Sun Sparks. But onto the side of Geek Fam, it only takes a few tur turrets to finish this game right off but Ling will take on Dominus Dominus here didn't stand a chance to get away KLVJ doesn't have the energy but look at this he's really trying to go for Roger and Roger here will go down and he actually lives wow what he actually lived last insanity on the other hand uh, let's see play. Oh, look at this. Sorn and the others, they're just trying to get away. This isn't Sorn DS, this is Sorn from Geek Fam. JP and the others, uh, JP rather, is on the back lines alone. He's trying to take down Zorn, but Zorn is just way too tanky. And look at the TPs coming out from Rafflesia. Almost going down Rumpel here, just trying to tank up that turret and clear that wave. Sorn and the others, they go in. And Roger is here to probably end this game. And Kufra will be taken down by Rafflesia, but that won't matter as Geek Fam will take game number one of this show match. That the draft, the very, very tanky.